Unplugged songs from 1990 to 2019. So you can just YouTube it. Best unplugged songs. The reason I always use mashups is because they play for enough time that it doesn't go into copyright. So for anybody here planning to play songs in your Insta lives or at any point, you have to be a little careful because if you play the whole song, then it won't come. Okay. So for all of you here. Saubana, 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 for all of you who I met you in MMI or I've met you anywhere else in the last one month, that's fabulous. You like my next neck piece, Rakhi? It's from Bhutan. My latest shopping, I have worn it and come. Today I'm doing the no makeup look, little less makeup look. Actually, it's the filter which has makeup on it. I haven't put any makeup. Some of you figured out, yes, I just got my, I'm actually going on a holiday tomorrow, so just got my hair cut. I wanted to only cut this much. They were about this much and I wanted to cut only this much, but I've landed up cutting this much. So, <laughs> thoda sa extra cut gaya, but ghar ki kheti hai, uk jayegi. Alright, hi Aarti, hi Zenath, hi Bhargavi, Miraki Design Surat, Vaishali. Which haircut? I don't know. <laughs> I just tell them to trim it, trim it. So I don't have any specific haircut as such. Thank you. Yeah, you think I can carry off short hair also? Cool. Okay, maze karo. Anyway, I'm going to a beach holiday. So shorter the hair, the easier to maintain. Attending my life for the first time. Welcome. You know, the other day I met someone and they thought... I spent the whole hour dancing with all of you. So they were like, oh my God, I've, I logged in a couple of times, but you're always dancing and sipping your tea. I was like, no, no, I do a full Q&A. So it was just hilarious to meet someone who thought that's what I do for the whole Insta live. So funny. Thank you. Thank you so much. Megha, thank you for your good wishes on my holiday. Hi, Pooja. Love you. Love you too, Arpita. Okay, let's start with the questions. I can start to see them coming in. If I haven't answered them, please type below, right? Let's learn with wrinkle. It comes from the bottom of my heart that I can be a successful coach and I have decided to become specific self-love coach. But I don't know from where to start. Like, should I give it one year? Wrinkle, I don't know if you've gone through coaching mastery with me, but on this coming weekend, not this coming weekend, the following weekend on the 21st and 22nd of January, I do this very interesting program called Coaching Mastery. If you haven't yet joined me, highly, highly recommend that program. It will really help you to give you direction on the, just the entire strategy of how to become a self-love coach. Okay, Self-love coach is a beautiful terminology. Keep it. Hi Ritu, hi Deepshika. <laughs> thank you Rashika, you like my voice. I don't hear that very often, so thank you for that. First, lot of first lives today. Nice to see a lot of new people here. Cherish yourself with Dr. Reena. We are, were you afraid to launch your first workshop or seminar? I'm really scared to face people. How will they receive it? Dr. Reena at every level. When I did my first workshop, I was scared. When I started to do my Zoom webinars and masterclasses, I was scared. I remember my first masterclass, my legs under the table were shivering. You know, I needed to get everything right. And whenever you have a sale in the end, that's always very scary in the beginning because, you know, you don't have practice. You really want to connect with people. So you want your stories to land. You want your jokes to land. One of the few things that I've learned over the years is don't try to perfect it right in the beginning. The first couple of times when you do any of these things, just do them for practice sake. So the first three times you do anything, just put it as practice as one thing 
and second thing applaud the courage that you could do it rather than judging yourself for wherever you didn't get it right for so many years i used to get off stage and i used to be like pooja tu wo bhi bhul gayi pooja tu wo bhi bhul gayi tera wo sentence reh gaya tera wo itna sundar quotation tha tune bolna hi bhul gayi and you know i would get so upset with myself till i realized that there are so many people who want to become coaches like me but their problem is they are perfectionists they want to go on stage and they want to kill it from day one at least i have the courage to go and make a <laughs> whatever word you want to use fool of myself on stage the first few times over the time it has gotten so perfected today when i go on stage i don't feel half as nervous as i used to like the other day at mmi i just walked in and it was my slot because i'd reached a little late i had my own master class that morning so i ran up on stage i had no idea what's going to come out of my mouth but you know what now i have enough trust in the channel that it will speak through me so now it's become like that so the other day i was watching zakir khan's tathastu it's it's a on amazon prime he's a stand up comedian and he was i think i think it was him he was talking about there comes a time in your journey where you put in so much of hard work that you move into from the from comfort zone you move into hard work zone from hard work zone you move into the magic zone magic zone is when you know something from above starts to get married to your art because of the hard work because of the number of hours you put in or like um, Malcolm Gladwell likes to put it if you put 10000 hours in anything you will start to become a genius in that topic so love that so my suggestion to anyone who's feeling nervous to do anything in 2023 launching whether it's your business your book your anything that you're launching for the first three times take it as practice and secondly give yourself a huge round of applause every time you get off stage for just having the courage to do something that so many would love to but won't they will keep preparing they will keep planning they will keep you know hiding behind perfection and procrastination but they won't launch so any launchers here salute to you in advance just know that whenever you'll do it imagine pooja standing in one corner some corner of that thing and just applauding you for having the courage and then 24 hours later only you are allowed to give yourself any feedback on how you can improve that thing for the next 24 hours you only applaud yourself can you do that zainabat m7 every day my day starts with your insta post it makes my whole day you know zainabat lot of people think that my insta posts are just general posts put being put every single day but i'm so glad that you are so loyal to coming there and commenting and reading and using that material for a good thought early in the morning what we put in early in the morning stays with us the whole day and it's crazy how in that day at some point we'll be repeating the exact sentence to someone because that would have come into our energy and it will be the exact solution someone will need to hear tell me in the chat box if that's happened with you that you've read something in the morning on my insta post and then shared it with somebody because they needed to hear exactly that you yourself needed to hear it that must have happened many times but the fact that even someone who's close to you may need to hear it the other thing i always say is just go to my insta post every day comment because that comment actually is creating what i call the neural pathway it is actually why firing and wiring new neural pathways in your mind on how to think the fact that you type out that entire uh, sentence that i'm asking you to do so that in itself can start to change the quotient of positivity in your mindset so for all of you here it's not just for me to collect more comments or likes it is more for us to go on a journey where every single day thanks to us being together on this journey you get to do a new affirmation an affirmation that you may not normally even notice to do but because you're following me it happens so please to all of you who are doing it fabulous if you're not doing it today itself when i close this i want you to go and post it yeah love it love it love it awesome so let's let me quickly do the cards and then i'll do more questions okay last time i did the cards and somebody in the comments commented pooja that's not how you do it like that like that like that you have to put it down and respectfully pull out one so i'm just going to put it down and i'm going to respectfully pull out one attune match your energy to whatever you desire in life 
If you want more love, then become more loving yourself. Tune into the love that surrounds you right now. Attune. Match your energy to whatever you desire in life. If you want more love, then become more loving yourself. I always say this, the law of spirituality says that anything you want more of, you have to learn to give more of. You want more love, give more love. You want more respect, give more respect. The law of materialism, the more you give, the lesser you have. The law of spirituality, the more you give, the more you have. So definitely I'd love for you to see what more do you want in life and start to give more of that so that you can, you know, um, and I'll anyway share this in my stories also today. Janvi Sri, I'm a member of your tribe. Just wanted to know if my husband can join any of your sessions. Which one should he start with? Depends, Janvi, what it is he needs. There are so many trainers. Mine is a heavily woman-oriented um, tribe. So my suggestion is send your husband to Meghna, Priyank. Success Can has so many amazing uh, masterclasses. Just look for what is he looking for. And if by any chance he's looking to become a coach, please send him for my coaching mastery session. Okay. Uh, if he's not planning to become a coach and you're just looking for self-help for him, my suggestion would be Success Gyan has so many amazing, amazing coaches. Prachi, Thaddeus, Meghna, um, Priyank, if he's looking for career, then my brother Savan Kapoor. If he's looking for business, then Rajiv Talreja. If he's looking for online marketing and being an online trainer, Siddharth. If he's looking for, uh, you know, more specialization, Blair Singer. So we have a, I mean, they have a buffet of one better than the other. My suggestion would be check with Success Gyan what is the right one for him. Yeah. Or just attend two, three master classes and see who he feels most drawn towards. Bending tails yoga. Moved out from a toxic relationship. Sometimes feeling strong. Sometimes feeling lost. What's the purpose of my life? Please give me some hope. Pooja ma'am. Firstly, congratulations. Moving out of a toxic relationship is one of the hardest things to do. So if you are here, the first thing I want you to do is honor your journey. You know, actually when you move out of a toxic relationship is as good as grieving someone's death. There is a death of the relationship that has happened. Okay, so you may not have lost a person to death, but you have lost the relationship, something that has died, right? So I want you to know that currently you may be in grieving state. And if that's the state, every morning will be a new energy. There will be days when you will wake up happy and excited that you're out of it. There will be days when you'll feel sluggish and sad because you... You know, you, you won't be sure of yourself or there will be deep sadness within of grief. Allow yourself this whole process. Very soon you'll see yourself starting to recover. As you start to recover, what you put in becomes your life. So coming for Insta lives like this, starting to watch YouTube videos, starting to read good books, starting to, um, you know, hearing podcasts. These days are so amazing. That reminds me for the book of the week, this week, I want to introduce you to the ant and the elephant. Someone had put it in my stories that, you know, Pooja, you had recommended ant and the elephant and I'm really enjoying it. This is by far in my top three books of my life. It really changed my life. Ant is the conscious mind. Elephant is the subconscious mind and the connection between them is what this book speaks about you will absolutely love it i highly highly recommend you get yourself this book it's by Win wincy posente i don't think i'm pronouncing that right but you know if you google it the ant and the elephant it'll come wince posente wince Pos whatever his name is okay so it's i'll anyway share it again on my stories yeah so for you who's getting out of your toxic relationship just know one thing first honor grieve let this pass a little bit okay otherwise if you push yourself to be motivated and inspired too fast you will land up not you know giving enough space to yourself to recover before you start running again the only thing I want you to do is surround yourself with positive things. Read positive books, um, you know, watch positive things. That in itself will start to shift something from within. A switch will get uh, on, okay? Okay. 
All right, I'm just trying to see. Rubina Rahman, 2022. Ma'am, what to do if mother and father-in-law don't respect even if I am earning? Rubina, one of the things I want you to understand is that in our society, there was purposely a hierarchy. Okay, and in the hierarchy, the triangle of patriarchy, the in-laws come right on top. So, father-in-law is actually right on top. Right next to him is your mother-in-law, then your husband, then his siblings, then you along with all the staff in the house. So, the daughter-in-law's position at one point used to be literally the same as the servants of the house. That's how the patriarchy was created because remember at one point women were turned into liabilities and because we were liabilities from our father's house we were literally sold because they paid people to like you know take us and keep us for the rest of their life. So you want to know you want to understand one thing desiring their respect itself in the first place is an expectation I don't want you to have okay respect yourself don't desire respect from them allow them to be the way they are it's very difficult to change them be who you are keep yourself happy do what you like you need to listen to them you listen to them if you don't need to listen to them don't listen to them you are not at their beck and call so whatever you do you have to start to set your boundaries to be able to live your life your way one of the things that I feel a couple can do very beautifully is that, okay, I will listen to your parents, but what in return are you going to give me as compensation? So let's say for your husband, his parents are very important, then you can work something out for him that, you know what, okay, I, you know, the question I often put across is, do you hate them more or do you love him more? And if you love him more, do it for him and trust me, his ability to love you back will increase many folds. So again, depends on the kind of man you have and the kind of arrangement you have. But all of this is just a suggestion. But in, in people who are higher than us, we can't set boundaries. We can only request. So you can only request your in-laws to respect you. And if they don't, my suggestion, go out. No, the, such a massive world. Get your respect from anywhere. Why do you need it from your in-laws only? Like when I started to want respect from my husband because I was not educated, because I got married at 18, he gave me a lot of love. But respect wasn't a something I could say he had for me. He would do, shh, you keep quiet. What do you have to say? As if you know anything. And I used to get so terribly hurt that, you know, what about my dignity? What about my soul? What about, you know, I also have an opinion. I also want to share my opinion. And it's like, you keep quiet. And I used to get really hurt. And then I realized, you know what, over the years, I started to get my respect from outside and I started to give that to this family. So I started to give it to everyone around and, and that started to bring back mutual. Remember law of spirituality, whatever you want more of, you give more of. I started to use that principle in the house and today I feel like God has been very kind. There's a lot of respect for each other. But it didn't start out like that. I can assure you it didn't. I still know the kind of sentences that, you know, I've, I've heard that hurt me a lot at that point. I'm not judging it for right or wrong. Maybe in some ways they were right in what they were saying, but it really hurt. You know, today I can look back and see where I went wrong, where they went wrong. But at that point, you know how we are, no? Sometimes we can't see what we are doing wrong, but we can so clearly see what they are doing wrong. So, sweetheart, my suggestion to you just would be go out in the world, get your respect from everywhere and come back and give it. Your house should be the receiver of your good qualities. The world should give you those good qualities. And how you get it from the world is you contribute to the world Get what you need, your higher self-esteem and then use it in your house to make it happier. I always say a happy house is actually a happy woman behind. So it's your primary duty to keep yourself happy or make yourself happy. Okay, darling? Love thyself 05. Difference between coach and psychologist. I don't know what the real difference is and in terms of dictionary meaning, but to me personally, I'm a believer that a psychologist goes into your past to deal and help you heal from the trauma that you may have gone through. A coach is more in regarding to your future. So they help you with your goals, your vision, where you want to go in your life. So 
um so they both come back into your present to make you do things one to heal you from your past and one to take you into a more beautiful future okay so one is designing your life future centric one is helping you come into your present by healing all that has gone wrong pinky 7598 If someone who insulted you once and tried to pull you down at your home after some time they wanted to use you as you started to growing and tried to bind you in any relationship because of jealousy and their own profit okay i'm going to guess pinky that your question is what to do with a person like that right you know the bigger you grow the bigger your heart also needs to grow so having the idea knowing that you know what I understand now this person has already revealed themselves to me so I need to be careful yet I can redesign a relationship it's an opportunity to redesign the relationship with that person so there was a time at one point where I was not particularly fond of one of the family members in you know our distant uh, relations and um as I grew and she grew in her energy both of us came back together and today i can tell you both of us mutually admire one another because we reexamined the fact that who we used to be may not have uh, been the best match but today that clash is over because the whole circumstances scenarios um, people everything around us has changed so much that we don't need to hold on to that old story so my suggestion to you would be pinky open up your heart once again and see you know instead of saying this person is trying to use me just try to go you know what today i that time maybe i was in competition or in 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 direct battle with this person but today i don't feel that way anymore i feel like i can you know totally handle this person in a much better form so see and try those things because i feel like you know what as we evolve if we still carry toxicity in our heart against people if we still have that negativity uh, about people sometimes what can happen is that you know what that can keep bringing our energy down it is impossible to raise your own vibration till the time you are having judgment for others so i'm going to ask you just start to see if you can open up your heart again be careful you don't have to be um i don't mean when i say open up your heart that close your you know eyes and open up your heart you can still very well keep checking as you go along the way that is this something i want to do for this person or you know how is this person treating me now is our relationship changed have they matured but you know what any time in life you get an opportunity to reset a negative relationship i definitely recommend it to all of you do give it a shot and if it doesn't work out because of the immaturity of that person or that person still living in knowing the old you leave it no nobody is forcing you to do it but it's always a nice try yeah shankari vinda hi pooja in spite of a lot of knowledge i'm not able to change myself i want to what can the barriers to change i want to know what can be the barriers to change so many my dear shahakari my suggestion please come for my awakening program the job of the awakening program is to awaken the goddess within and if by chance you are able to join my enlightenment program please come for that i take you through basically 3 months of a goddess every week that we awaken within you and make you do enough exercises and practices that you will start to see a deep transformation within you for that first you will have to come for the awakening program that's happening on march 18th and 19th i think it's 18th and 19th just check it has to be a saturday and a sunday of march okay so saturday and sunday i think it's 18th and 19th just check that and please come for it if you'd like to join that program i will get the link put in the link tree uh, in my bio in instagram so you can go make the payment and come it's 999 rupees very worth it is what i would say anybody here who struggling with change i'd love for you to come for my awakening program and anybody here who's done awakening i'd love to know in the chat box what your experience was
Mansi Jaikar, how to work on self worth? My style of working on self worth has always been mean what you say, say what you mean. The more you can grow yourself in trust between the ant and the elephant, this book is simply fabulous for self worth. I must say, if somebody had to ask me one book for self worth, it would be this one. And one of the most beautiful things to do when you are working on your self worth is. Don't say things, and if you say them, you've got to do them. So if you don't don't say you want to wake up in the morning, get up when you like. But if you're going to say I'm going to wake up at six o'clock, then you must wake up at six o'clock because our self worth comes from dependability. I want you to think of all the people you respect, and one of the things you'll hundred percent see in anybody you respect is their dependability is always very high. That means if they say something, they mean it. You can trust them. trust is what we need to build between our conscious mind and our subconscious mind so anybody working with self worth you know they used to say at one point that sages could curse and bless you know they could do shrap and they could do vardan and what that meant was that because they were so sincere to the words that they used they valued every word that came out from their mouth you know pathan ki zuban at one point in the world your word meant everything you know uh, you would die but you would not go back on your word that was the kind of personalities we used to have at that point start to build that in yourself if you are making a commitment you show up and if you can't show up you must inform that person before they reach out to you so if i promise my friend i will come for dinner tonight and for some reason maybe my driver leaves off or i am having a stomach ache or for some reason i am not able to go then i am not she should not contact me the minute i know i am not going to be able to keep my commitment or keep my agreement i must get in touch with the person i made the commitment with and let them know that it won't be possible the next when i can do it is so and so date you know that's what builds dependability that's what builds a person up so really work on your self worth this is such a huge thing for 2023 back in 2010 because i was a punjabi girl from delhi and you know i used to talk a lot all of you can see that i must be fond of talking right so i used to talk a lot and in my talking sometimes i used to be exaggerating sometimes i used to get my facts wrong sometimes i used to you know say something and not mean it and i remember at a point of time one of my dear coaches asked me sir pooja do you know you get paid for your words every word that comes out of your mouth has to build trust trust is the currency of coaching and for one year he said pooja you're not allowed to exaggerate you're not allowed to you know say, if you don't know something for sure you have to say that you have to say i think i bought it from here but i'm not sure i think it was this price but let me check and get back to you and on everything he said you will put your own doubt so that you do not sound like you know everything you don't when you do when you when you get proven wrong you lose trust when you say i think even when you're 100% sure if you can say i think pooja that's a much better way to operate in life so it was such a huge lesson for me so i'm going to recommend it to all of you shaina mystic world is asking how to kill fomo fomo for those of you in this room who don't know it's fear of missing out i'm sure this lingo most of you will know See honestly Shaina for me the most important conversation is what am i giving up for what Okay so w- there is always a price to pay for extraordinary Okay the mediocre world the other day i read a beautiful quote and it really touched my heart it said the biggest difference between millionaires and billionaires is that billionaires say a lot more no than millionaires let me repeat that sentence the difference between millionaires and billionaires is that the billionaires say a lot more no than the millionaires that means learning to say no is a huge part of building yourself and if you want to live mediocre you want to show up everywhere you want to be a part of every party you know today i was actually supposed to be in calcutta do you know why it, it's my today why my insta live is at 5 o'clock because i was supposed to land and then go and do my insta live so and there's a lovely party in calcutta very lovely lovely people somebody's 25th anniversary 
and I just couldn't go. There was just so much work the last two, three days that it's just been so crazy that this morning I just woke up and I said, Puneet, neither my health nor my work is permitting me. I'm going to have to miss it. And right now he's on a boat down the Hubli River, sending me photos with my friends and making me fully jealous. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is that you know what? Every single day you are going to have a choice. A choice to build yourself or a choice to show up for things like this where it may or may not even matter eventually. So you have to start to go deep inside and ask yourself, can I give myself this one year to build who I am? And once I feel like, yes, I've reached that place, it takes, you know what the beauty of life in success, the beauty of success is it attracts people to you. So never ever worry, rather I would say it will attract the right people to you when you become successful because you know what, you will start to surround yourself with that category of people. Okay, um, I'm not saying you should miss someone, something who are close to you or you know, I mean no way telling you not to do that but there are days, there are days where there is only that much bandwidth you have and I want you to know that every time you feel FOMO, I want you to write out what was the sacrifice made for? What did you make that sacrifice? And keep a jar next to your bedside. And you know what? At the end of the year, go through these slips because we forget the price we have to pay for success. People think you're just going to become successful. Absolutely not. Let me be very clear. There's a huge price success demands out of you and not everyone is willing to pay. Right in the beginning, you know, the first three years, 2011, 12 and 13, when I became a life coach, I left alcohol for three full years. And I can tell you in every party by 12 o'clock, I was done. I was tired. I wanted to go home. And my friends used to be like, you're so boring. We don't want to hang out with you. Oh God, Pooja, now you'll go sit in one corner. And you know what? That was the price of the kind of dedication I needed to have to introduce life coaching to India itself. Please know that in 2011, 12, 13, nobody knew about life coaching. Here I was spending lakhs of rupees flying to America, learning all of this stuff, coming back. So anybody here who's feeling like you're going to start to get successful just by having everything in balance, let me tell you, success doesn't come from balance. Success comes from obsession. And for some time in your life, and it doesn't have to be forever, let me tell you that also. For 700 days to a thousand days, give yourself up to that mission that you know you've taken birth for. And I can tell you, thousand days later, you'll enter the magic zone. Once you enter the magic zone, you'll start to see a lot of it becomes easy. Today, for me to do my masterclass, I can do it in my sleep. I don't have to prepare for it. I don't have to not go to a party because I have a masterclass the next day. I don't have to make the sacrifices I've already finished making. So... I don't know. I think I'm, I'm very keen that all of you start to come out of your mediocrity this year and start to make choices which ordinary people just won't be able to make. If you're a part of my tribe, I want to inspire every single one of you to make those sacrifices, write out those sacrifices. You know why I'm asking you to write out those sacrifices? Because to you, you will feel that the sacrifice nobody noticed. But I always say every unnoticed sacrifice of mine was noticed by God. And I can assure you when nobody in your surrounding appreciates that, God is watching. And when God is watching you, when he decides to give you, na, what will a human being give when God decides to give you? So to every single one of you here, no sacrifice ever goes unnoticed. I know the amount of sacrifices I've made and I can tell you God has paid me 10x for every single sacrifice. If today I look back at 2011, 12, 13 and I talk about the sacrifices I made and if I knew this is where I was going to be 10 years from then, I can assure you God has been more than kind. So don't underestimate neither yourself nor your divine together if you are on a mission to serve in whichever manner that you are please know you're going to get paid in ways that you will look back and say thank god i made those choices <laughs> as you can see this is very close to my heart so 
Namrata Utsav never finished another book recommended by you has done wonders which my husband is reading now that's fabulous okay every week for the next 52 weeks i am going to share my favorite books with you i have a whole collection already ready for this month to share with you um so get ready i mean you know some of these books you will get super attracted to some of these books you may feel okay with sometimes it's going to be an old book but most of the books are going to be something that is brand new in the market because i go to a bookstore almost pretty much once a week and love 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 reading I am Viranchi. Hello, ma'am. Please answer my question. I have a bubbly nature. Now I want to get that classy, posh lady kind of personality. How can I mingle both the personalities as output? Viranchi, I feel like you're asking me my question. Like this is something you know. When I got married, I was so bubbly in my nature, and my husband used to like these very elegant, graceful kind of ladies. And we used to go to restaurants, and I used to be talking, and he say, "Are you talking to me or to the restaurant?" Because my hands used to move, my volume and my pitch used to be so high. And then I used to suddenly be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." And for one year, I remember I put elegant and graceful on the bathroom mirror, and I practiced it every minute of the day. How I would pick up. my cup of tea would be elegant how i would receive the phone call it would be elegant i might pitch my tonality i would practice 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 there were a few people i used to think who are extremely elegant and i used to try to emulate them in you know being that kind of person i used to dress up like them i used to talk like them and over the year i did become a lot more elegant but you know what honestly there came a point where i started to lose myself in the process of being elegant and then i brought my bubbly cheerful self back and it automatically got married because you know what we never lose our essence our essence my essence is loud even if i want to i can't be soft you know when i hold a mic people hold their mic like this they always thought that your mic should touch your chin i have to hold it like this like it has to be this far because my tone my pitch my style of talking it's all so um big right and uh, and you know what now i've totally accepted myself so i while i'm going to tot encourage you to find the graceful side that is there inside of you i also want you to know that there's something very beautiful of the aliveness that bubbly people have you know how many people every insta live you will notice in the chat box somebody or the other will ask me pooja where do you get your energy from people want to learn that from me today something that i was trying to hide and and shut down and not show and you know hide my brilliance today is something that people want to learn so when you actually own your authentic self and show up in the world in that manner people get attracted to that so you you be that also but don't remove this to be that automatically you will see a time will come when both will come together okay darling Shreya eight nine nine, ma'am, how to be laser focused on our goals and not think about people? Oh my God! Don't tell me I lost the question. Uh, okay, here, yeah. and not think about people who doesn't like our success. Shreya, actually, you know what? For me, negative fuel works like magic. If somebody doesn't believe in my success. all the more reason i want to prove it to myself and to them that they are wrong and for me sweetest revenge is not going and explaining and justifying it is just becoming that successful a person that they themselves start to go from mujhe nahi lagta isse hoga to moving to the energy of mujhe to hamesha pata tha ye to hamesha hi aise hi thi that sort of a connection okay so to every single one of you here laser focus comes when you every day write out your goals you sit in your silence and you visualize yourself moving in that direction we can either focus on the dogs that are barking and i don't mean to be disrespectful to anybody but you know what you'll always have someone or the other bringing in doubt fear dream stealers disguised angels toxic people toxic environment all of that happens in all of our lives you are never going to have green light till the end of the road correct at some point if you have to go from here to the airport the red light will hit correct or no so like that there are always going going to be some people in our environment whose job is to you know provoke us use it to your advantage and create laser focus by motivating yourself that you know what i'm not going to let this person be proved right 
when i became a life coach in 2011 people like what people are going to pay you to listen to you pooja like seriously and i said no no seriously in america there are people where where you know there are there's a concept called life coaching and it took a while in india to be to for india to accept that but today it is doing wonders coaches under me are earning in lakhs and lakhs 20 lakhs 30 lakhs i am so proud of my tribe it's mind blowing so every single one of you here if anyone is provoking you please take that and make that your mission you know what david goggins does he takes all the trolls on instagram or on social media that he has he records it he reads every single troll records it wears it okay and then goes for a run can you imagine what he's doing with all of that negativity he's taking all of that negativity turning into fuel and then he goes i'm not going to let these people become right i'm not going to let these people become right and look at what he's created out of himself that's the kind of guy you want to be right okay i'm going to go right to the bottom to answer two more questions and then we'll move into me taking a photo and all of the pictures you know one of the things i want to say is i know week after week so many of you are coming and a lot of time your questions don't get answered if you would like to get in touch with my coaches my coaches are brilliant okay these are all ladies who've been with me for the last 2 years so if you would like to get in touch with them and you would like to personally have a 30 minute conversation with one of my coaches trust me i'm going to make this free for all of you so you can get on a free clarity call with one of my coaches all you need to do is dm me your phone number okay in the dm direct message just send me your phone number and just put free clarity call there fcc that you are interested in an fcc someone from my office within this week will call you and get in touch with you to see what is it that you're stuck with you know this is something i want to start doing every week every week every week in 2023 because i know that there's so many of you who really need help if they are able to help you in those 30 minutes how beautiful karmically it will be for all of us and then you know what i know that if i help you someday you'll help someone else with that same problem true or not so if you get help the only thing i want in return from every single one of you is that promise me that when someone in this world will help you some day you will pay it forward that's all okay so if you are interested in an fcc just give me your phone number put fcc and within a week or two give me at least a week or maximum two not here not in this chat box because this disappears the minute we go away so don't put it here you have to send it to me in the direct message or you can put it under this video uh better not i don't want you to share your phone number publicly better not to share your phone number publicly my suggestion would be share your phone number in the message so all you need to do is go to pooja punit's page press message in that type your phone number and put fcc and some coach of mine will call you okay darling oh so sweet Farheen explain your 3 months coaching training when it and when it is happening Farheen I'd love for you to call up Gunjan or Radhika to get information on that or come on the weekend of uh, 20 this the weekend after this weekend okay so not this weekend the following weekend i think it's 21st and 22nd yeah so come on the weekend of 21st 22nd go through my whole coaching mastery program in that i'll explain to you everything you need to know about my 3 month program yeah it's called coaching certification by the way shaina goel how to deal with cheating in relationship you know the other day i watched a very beautiful video by esther pirel and it's called uh infidelity let me just actually read it out to you i'll even share the link in my stories i'd like you to it's a 20 minute video and i want you to go through the whole video i don't want to answer this casually okay so for everyone here who is it's called rethinking infidelity a talk for anyone who has ever loved rethinking infidelity and the lady's name is esther perel okay just go watch this video it will give you a huge sense and the last 5 minutes she actually speaks about what to do to to either get out of that relationship or what to do to start to heal that relationship okay 
and there are many things she'll speak about so cheating is becoming so common now in the world that we live in because it's so easy to access people through phone through you know what are the three things that entails in cheating basically it has to be secretive okay it has to be emotional and there has to be a desire for chemistry a desire for um, you know being with one another that's what an affair is right so in that affair these days these three things have become so easy earlier on there was one phone in one joint family so even if you had to have an affair how to have an affair you know you pick up the phone from here your parents will pick up the phone from the bedroom how many of you remember those days correct or no today it's not like that we all have passwords we all have the other day i was watching something very interesting and i said and this psychologist was saying these five words to know whether you can trust your man or woman and i said five words to know whether you can trust your man or woman what would those five words be and that five words he said is give me your can i have your phone can i have your phone yeah these were the five words if you and your spouse do not have each other's uh, permission to look into each other's phone as and when you would like to then there is something you are hiding i'm not saying that those people who are hiding their phones are cheating but i'm just saying that the easiest way to create cheating is to give people privacy on their phone i would rather you sit your spouse down and get in a space where both of you are having the ability to access each other's phone so a lot of people look at me and go pooja i wouldn't ever allow my husband to access my phone okay that's your relationship and in um lot of these psychologists and psychiatrists say every relationship today is customized and created by the two people who are in it there is no no longer any judgment of you know um what it should be there is no should monogamy has so many different explanations for some people watching porn itself is cheating your spouse for some people going to a strip club is cheating your spouse for some people um you know emotional is okay but you shouldn't have slept with them for some people if you've slept with them but it's not emotional it's okay so it's crazy in the world we live in today there is so many different definitions to cheating that uh, we have to sit down with our spouse and have these open conversations and i feel like this is so important i have puneet's password puneet has my password we pick up each other's phone and we can do it's not that we don't trust each other so we check each other's phone no but you know what just having this one rule makes it so difficult to have an affair because if somebody tells me that you're going to go your whole life without ever being attracted to someone else i'm i don't really believe that i believe 90% of the time people who are attracted to you're not attracted to and people you're attracted to they are not attracted to you so good for you but every now and then you will meet someone who's who 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 will make you feel different who will make you feel like you've come alive who will make you feel or say things that you've been wanting to hear and you know what at that point what are you going to do so for everybody to say you know what my value system and my yes great if you have a great value system but i think a relationship needs much more than just a strong value system because it takes only one mistake to ruin your entire reputation while you can resist 50000 times but only one mistake so i'm going to ask all of you here to have a very open conversation with your spouse on what does firstly cheating mean for one another and i'm sorry i've digressed from that whole conversation around somebody asking me what to do with cheating but i want you to start to go on ted and watch these videos on cheating because there's so much good information and become a pro a phd in in understanding because i don't feel anyone today should get into a marriage without having an open conversation around these topics taboo topics today are a must whether we are discussing physical intimacy or we are discussing cheating or we are discussing health or we are discussing these are important conversations isn't it all right so on that note let me very quickly read out last time we had such a fabulous response it was just mind blowing i think never before have we had that many people share um takeaways we crossed 60 people last time so now i'm going to be reading out 60 names very quickly 
but you know what if you are one of these i'm so proud of you and if you're not one of these you should set the intention that next week i'll be calling out your name yeah rashmi ravi 2008 ira cosmetics hyderabad the khushboo.s underscore coach kakali bhargavi arjun dr alifia reset with rakhi gauri 1811 aditi ashish kumar devika wins gargi arya pretty person bags deepshikha hata par thapar ahuja Cherish yourself with Dr. Reena, hiring mentor Ekta Todi, Shipra Singh, Arti S K forty one, Raj Ranjana Hari Har, Alicia underscore Muslima, Savita Agarwal, Subhash underscore Revti, E Cafe twelve, Upasna Gautam, Life of Beings Nest Skated, Vivek Vasanta, Sri Ramani Artist, Nisa Q R. Heman Gilon Londe, sorry if I can't pronounce your name correctly. Manisha Mistri, Rabia Patel, Sharanya, Innovative Tarot Trupti, Shri Muk, Himangi Birari, Sparkling Souls, Tulsi Mala, Aruna Life Coach, Tina Matthews, Shaman Jeet, Richa Bhag. भगत सौम्या जय अमन डिवाइन योगा फॉर वुमेन इमेज डिजाइन कंसल्टेंसी हार्ट ओवर हेड्स विद कानिता योगा हैप्पीनेस हब आरती तेकचंदानी अनीता गुप्ता डॉक्टर भवरानी मोना मीकाज नीशा राठौर सकीना शेख डिजाइनर प्रियंका रुचि चौहान कल्पना शर्मा नेहा करण एंड द विनर्स हु हैव वन माय बुक आर मिडास टच हीलिंग नम्रता केडिया एंड ऑरेंज नेचर क्राफ्ट ओके these are the three winners who won my book we will write to you and to the 57 people who did this last week i am so 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 proud of you and if you haven't done them please do it today this week now remember the new rule is only within 24 hours it will get shared and beyond that not okay so and so i want all of you i want to see some new faces there okay so i'm going to pose now how do you want me to pose yeah good wait wait let me fix my mala my bhutanese mala For anybody whose name got missed, it must be just because you may have posted it more than twenty-four hours. Okay, if not, just write to Divya and she'll help you. Mil gayi? Ek photo to mil gayi? Okay, perfect, awesome. So today's takeaway, as well as in your stories with my photo plus the takeaway, and don't forget to tag me. Yeah, fabulous. Let's do one last question before I go. We have seven minutes. And for those of you who want my office to be in touch with you, I assure you, my coaches are mind blowing. Some of them are even better than me when it comes to solving a few things in a. few topics so if you know your topic even better then we can put on the right person on to you yeah love it love it love it love it love it okay let me go back and see which was the last question asked and i'm going to just read that out karishma kadam is asking what's the challenge for new year karishma i don't know exactly what you mean by what's the challenge for new year um Are you asking me in terms of what is a challenge for me in the new year, or what is a challenge that I'm taking on? Um, I would ask all of you here to find out what is one challenge that you would like to address for the new year. For me, definitely, it would be getting my health back on track. So, all some of you know that I suffer from allergies very frequently. Something that I had sorted, but it came back the last couple of days. I've actually been suffering a little bit. So, I'm going to work really hard on getting my health. back in uh, the thing so the few things that i want to do to get my health back is one go and see the sunrise from my rooftop every single day and two go for a outdoor walk for 20 minutes every single day so these are the two things that i am going to be doing regarding my health to get my allergies going because a lot of things the doctors are saying is movement and sunlight is one of the best ways to cure allergies okay 
and for all of you here who are showing concern please don't send me any medication please don't send me any advice i'm working on many things trust me when i say that okay so thank you some of you get so sweetly concerned but you know what my dms then get filled with puja try this puja try that puja try this trust me i've tried many 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 things yeah oh it's 555 everybody look up quickly and you know what in this new year i just want you to have a prayer that god ji i'm going to make some serious sacrifices this year please be ready to compensate me 10x that's the prayer today okay i'm going to make some serious sacrifices god ji but please 10x yeah please please re <laughs> reward me 10x thank you yeah you know what the thing about cold and the thing about allergies is you're not sick enough to be sick and you're not good enough to be good hai na true that yeah so i don't know in what reference you were asking me the challenge karishma but i hope this answers your question yeah all right on that note i'm going to run cheers my sweethearts see you next week bye everybody thank you for coming